we clash with other generations, not because of attitude, but because the history you lived through literally forged your brain's architecture. This is the core of developmental psychology. The word psychology itself comes from the Greek psyche, mind, and logia, study of. We'll look at the prefrontal cortex, reason, the hippocampus, memory, and the amygdala, fear, to see how world events created unique neuropathways in every generation, from boomers to alpha. Baby boomers, born 1946 to 1964. The boomers knew a quantum state of stability. Work was their meditation, a structured path to fulfillment. This stable environment reinforced the myelinated pathways connecting the PFC to reward centers. Their neural hardware is optimized for deep long-term focus and resisting distraction. Generation X, born 1965-1980. As economic certainty frayed, Gen X entered a state of observation and collapse, becoming self-reliant pragmatists. The need for independence fostered greater neuroplasticity in the PFC. Their pathways are efficient at making quick, skeptical judgments, allowing them to rapidly filter out noise and manage shifting priorities. Millennials, born 1981 to 1996. Millennials live in a state of interconnected superposition, constantly shifting between the physical and digital. High-speed access and validation-trained pathways for social cognition. The constant feedback stimulates dopaminergic circuits, making them vulnerable to overload while the hippocampus constantly indexes new contexts. Generation Z, born 1997 to 2012. Gen Z's reality is one of inherent turbulence. Meditation is a necessity to manage cognitive stress. Chronic exposure to global stresses may lead to an overactivation of the amygdala. Their brains are highly attuned to ambiguity, giving them a superior capacity for multimodal processing. Generation Alpha, born 2013 present. Generation Alpha is defined by screen-native entanglement, with their identity integrated with touch interfaces and AI. Their visual and motor cortices are rapidly shaping for interface dominance. This guides synaptic pruning, positioning them for unmatched human AI fluency, but prioritizing speed over sustained attention. Given the increasing complexity of the modern world, focused meditation is now a vital tool for mental resilience across all generations. To bridge this divide, older generations must practice foundational understanding, accepting that the stress and turbulence younger people feel is real, not just a complaint. Younger generations must offer context and patience, translating their digital fluency into respect for the deep focus pathways of their elders. Only then can we truly adapt and collaborate.